I am going to be trying this Tony's chocolate and this is the dark chocolate pecan coconut. If you ever wanna look into this, I'm just gonna open it. Ooh, fancy. BRB. This is what it looks like. It's pretty big. It smells pretty good. Um, and if you want to know about their the company itself, here's a little bit of that. Okay. I'm gonna try it. I have a piece here. It's good quality chocolate for sure. It's very rich. It's sweet enough, but it's not like bitter like you would expect dark chocolate to be. It says that it's coconut, but I can't really taste coconut or coconut pieces or anything like that. But I can taste the pecans and they're pretty good. It adds a beautiful texture and overall i think this is a very good company i like their standards i like their morals great quality as well i definitely would recommend if you want to just pick it up you know yeah it's pretty good mm. i give this a 9 out of 10 because it is vegan chocolate it tastes pretty good it is not bitter but it is technically dark chocolate or 51 percent dark chocolate which is you know not too bad and it's got great texture as well so yep hi today i'm going to try this kit hill plant-based artisan plant and sweetened almond yogurt these are the macros 140 calories 12 grams of fat 5 grams of carbs and 5 grams of protein which is not bad um these are the ingredients. I tried to pick the one, I tried to pick the yogurt that had the least ingredients because right now I'm on this, I would say a diet to try and clear out my skin. So this was the one that had the least amount of ingredients um, at the supermarket, at my local supermarket. As you can see, it was $11.49 and I'm just going to open it. Okay, this is how it looks. I'm just gonna... <laughs> it looks like yogurt. It smells like yogurt. I am going to serve myself a little bit and I'm going to add some toasted coconut. I have, I chopped out a date in there. A little bit of cocoa powder, flax seeds, and uh, a little bit of cacao nibs as well. Just to flavor it up, but I'm also going to try it plain. Okay, I serve myself some, and this is consistency, if you wanna take a look. It's nice and creamy, but the real thing is the taste. <laughs> okay, I am going to try this. It's just plain for now. <laughs> I'm so scared. It doesn't taste good, like, at all. But I also think it's because it's unsweetened. <laughs> like, you can tell it's been fermented because it's got that sour taste. But I'm going to add my toppings, so my dates. And now I'm going to add toasted coconut flakes. These are nothing but just coconuts. Um, yeah, see? Oh, I guess I could also be trying this out because I have never tried this, so let's do that. Oh, it smells so good. And this is what it looks like. Just a little coconut flake. Mmm. Yeah, it's like a regular toasted coconut flake. It's pretty good. 
I would rate this a 9 out of 10 because I do enjoy coconuts and the toastiness of this is mm. It's still, I know. Ugh. Like, for the macros that it has and the nutritional value that it has, it's pretty good. And considering that it hasn't been, it doesn't have a lot of ingredients, it's also good. That's the good part. The bad part is that it tastes like, it tastes bad. <laughs> I don't think I can make myself eat the whole tub. For nutritional value, this is a yes. Taste-wise, <laughs> sorry, this is like a two. A one. It's it, it's horrible. It's I don't like it. I would recommend this just to eat as plain yogurt at all. Yeah, you do that information what you will <laughs> okay so today we will be trying this Dea gluten free pizza this is what it's supposed to look like whoa one third 400 calories so for the whole thing would be a thousand two hundred calories which is a lot uh let's just open it up okay this is how the pizza looks like this is my hand <laughs> this is a pizza one third that's ridiculous one third serving size is i think too small this is what it looks like the cheese is not really melted but there is a generous amount of cheese in there this is supposed to be the mozzarella and i mean not really that mozzarella like it smells really good it's got little tomato pieces in there and it's also got like basil but the taste is the most important okay i am going to give it a little try it's very hot so you can see the the crust is pretty thin which i think will make it nice and crunchy but i also don't want to burn myself The crust is so nice and crispy. The actual sauce tastes pretty good. I'm not like a big fan of vegan cheese, but you know, if I'm craving pizza, I'll probably have this, yeah. The mozzarella that's like this big ass mozzarella here, it is melty, but from the inside. This wouldn't compare to a regular New York City style pizza at all, but the crust is nice and thin just like a new york city style pizza would be obviously the cheese needs a little work but for a vegan pizza it's it's pretty good i would give it seven and a half out of ten just because i haven't tried enough vegan pizzas to know like whoa what's the best but i think seven and a half is a good start this porkless pork rinds, I would give them a 6 out of 10 because they were pretty good in texture, uh, but it's not something I would purchase again. Very crispy though.